Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. In today's video, we're looking at another small compact fighter ship that is so compact considering how much is on this, that well you could just easily build this up and use it for a light bit of exploration. This is called the Space Moth, which is not to be confused with the Sea Moth from Subnautica, but it does look very reminiscent with its overall design. This features two Gatling guns, a singular reloadable rocket launcher, we've got an ore detector on here, we've got cameras, we've got ion thrusters, parachute hatches, and a small container if you store a few bits and bobs inside that you might need on your adventure. So this ship is perfect for scouting out new areas in space, such as hunting around asteroids to find that very specific bit of resource that you're after, and of course to go and scout out, say, some wreckages of a space pirate outpost to make sure it's all actually safe to bring up your big, valuable ship and make sure it doesn't take any unnecessary damage. So press the F10 to find the since form menu, the Space Moth is 140 small blocks, and I am quite disappointed that it did not come in the little capsule, like it just fell out of a vending machine. Anyway, for the actual thing itself, on the workshop page, we've got a small bit of information about it, such as is a lightweight space scout, that due to AI blocks, it can be used as a small defense drone that can follow you around or follow your other ships around for a bit of extra defense. Down to here is everything that's got attached onto it, so there's its autopilot system, parachutes, its power supply, its some batteries and reactor, and of course down to there are some images that we can't really see on this screen. So simply give this a thumbs up, move around towards the very front, we'll have a quick look around the outside, fly around for a bit, maybe find some space pirates, test it out over there, and while no space pirates decide to spawn, we just slam it into an asteroid, and I think that'll be that for this video. So at the very front for the space moth, what we can see is a camera right in the very middle so we can get a good view of what's going on and help precisely aim our Gatling guns and rocket launcher. Right above that where I'm sitting is our standard cockpit to drive this thing around and then we can see the start of many ion thrusters which are the only form of thrusters that appear on this ship. Moving down slightly more, we then got two spotlights to light up the darkness which can be a very useful thing to have especially when you're scouting out asteroids to see exactly where the ore you discovered is currently sitting. If you have to move around onto the side, here we go, we've got some lovely white and yellow steel blocks to make up the main body of the ship. So we've got another ion thruster right left and right. Right behind that, however, we've got a very unique use of our flare or firework launcher, which is very much like a defensive flare or a decoy flare, completely forgot what it's actually called, but you have to fire this off to stay distract any kind of missiles. Of course, it will not work in space engineers, it's just there for role playing purposes, or just to have a bit of fun while flying this thing around. Right below there, we can see another iron thruster to keep us off the ground, as well as a magnetic plate to clamp this thing down with. Then around towards the very back there, we can see our ore detector, which is currently turned off, but that's how we're going to go out and about and scout for ore patches around all the little asteroids. And around towards the very back of this thing, we've got two iron thrusters to boost us around with an antenna right above that, and some fantastic use of some of our neon skins, just give it that white glow on the white steel blocks. Moving all the way up and looking down, there we go. We won't be able to see it from up here, but on the inside of this thing, we do have a beacon, so we can make sure we can always find this thing. How we come down past that small reactor, should be down to there. There it is. So, yes, we've got one built into the very middle of this thing. Moving back up and looking straight down once again, there's a blinking yellow light. There's the top of our cockpit and has been covered up by some armored panels. And of course, towards the front and coming all the way down underneath this thing, there's the bottom of our reloadable rocket launcher to manually load it up. There's a small connector to help dock this thing up. There's your gyroscope to move it around. And of course, there's the bottom of our ore detector at the back. And there we go. That's a brief look around the outside of the Space Moth. And for what it is, it looks bloody fantastic considering all the stuff on top of it. So what I can do now is just grab hold of my character, bring up the HUD, tab number one. These are the controls we get with it. But of course, number one's going to be our camera, see what exactly what's going on. Number two is for your two Gatling guns. Then number three is for your rocket launcher right below the ship. And then you've got number four for your fireworks launcher on the side, where we simply press that, and now out shoots our firework in all different directions. There we go. Of course, from a distance, that's simply what it looks like. Quite hard to see on this skybox, it is very colourful. And of course, there will be links to skybox in the description below if you are interested. But there we go with our little flare launcher. Anyway, number five is in for your ore detector on and off. Number six is for your beacon on and off. Number seven is in for your ion thrusters all around the ship, turn them on and off. Number 8 is in for your reactor, and then number 9 is for your batteries to auto recharge. It will turn off the reactor and just leave it on battery power. Moving forwards, as you can see, we can easily fly this around with no issues whatsoever. So, yes, we can just use the reactor as an emergency recharge when the batteries start to get low. Putting it back on, moving to tab number 2, these are all of your AI controlled blocks to make it follow you around or just have it as a simple defense drone if that's what you want to do. But I'm not going to go through all of these, they're just there if you want to play around with them. Of course, number three, four, five, we've got nothing else. Let's go and see how this thing handles. So moving forwards and moving away from the sun so we don't get blinded anymore. There we go. This thing is, well, 
quite slow. As you can see, we're slowly creeping up to about 30 meters per second, so we're not going to be able to scoot away from enemies very quickly. We will have to stand our ground and fight, which might be a bit of a problem, depending on what you're actually fighting. Come to a stop, well, it's not going to be any different than moving forwards, because the same thrusters, forwards and backwards. Moving left, and then moving right. We've only got one thrust on both sides, we are exceptionally slow with that. Moving down, well, that's going to be the same as forwards and backwards. And of course, moving up, going to be the same as forwards, backwards, and moving down. As for gyroscope controls, however, this thing is very different compared to its thruster controls. This is extremely floaty, and there's no weight on this whatsoever. It does have a tiny hint of weight on there, so it's not completely like paper. So it does drag just a little bit, but moving this around, it's well extremely precise, and should be able to do a lot of precise shooting with your Gatling guns. But as for that, what I'm going to do now is put on my signals, and hopefully find some space pirates to go and shoot up, and see how this thing does in combat. And here we go, what I've done is found a space pirate station, where zooming all the way in and excusing the low resolution skybox, oh, we can see it's a bloody big station, so it's going to have a lot of guns on there. This ship is not going to stand a chance, but I'm going to try it anyway. Well, we can see some decoys down to there, we see a Gatling gun on the side, and it'll probably have some rocket launches around the opposite side of the scene. So this thing's going to get torn to shreds very quickly. But coming out of the camera, back in the third person view, locking onto it, here we go, switching to the Gatling guns. And I suppose for good measure, we can fire off a few of the fireworks. There we go. And we're just going to start to engage it. This is not going to go well at all. So we see all the shots coming off them. We've got some shots coming all the way down to there. And of course, we've got some other stuff around there. I don't know why I'm going for that. It's simply going for the middle of the station. But there goes the poor little space moth. The concrete has gone. It's being torn to shreds. And that's about it. What I was expecting from it. But yes, on a more serious note, this thing is perfect for some light exploration. If you do want to have something small, and very useful to use in Savar mode. This thing is very easy to build and should do very well against some small drones. Of course, not against a giant space station like I did right here. Yes, for some light exploration, go around scouting asteroids, go around scouting abandoned wreckages to see if there's any kind of odd turret here and there that's still active. This ship will be absolutely perfect for that, as well as being a companion drone for your other ship when flying through a hostile area. But yes, that's that for the Space Moth. It's a lovely little ship to use in your world. There'll be a link to its description below to which you download and play around with yourself. Highly recommend you do. I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.